All right, so on a fresh sheet of paper in your notebook, go ahead and title it meiosis. And I do believe we're going to be doing these on April 3rd. Right now it's Monday. Uh, I'm going to be doing these notes just a smidge bit differently. Same thing as we've been doing the Harvard style notes. However, I'm going to be covering them up at a certain point. That way students cannot simply forward it to a certain part of the video and have most of the notes um, copied. So it is a little bit differently. However, all the information will still be there. So the first thing that we are going to do, meiosis, we've talked about mitosis. We've done ones on the cell cycle, which is interphase mitosis and cytokinesis. And we did one on Mitosis, which is PMAT, so prophase, metaphase, antiphase, and telophase. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what we usually start off with is what is it? Okay, so what is meiosis? Hopefully it'll stay somewhat focused. So what is meiosis? And again, I'm going to be kind of covering it up as I go because I really don't want you guys skipping forward and missing out on all the wonderful commentary that you get when you listen. Uh, so the first one what exactly is meiosis? It is a type, a type, hopefully it doesn't keep being a butt, but it probably will. A type of cell division. So we're still all talking about cells dividing. It's a type of cell division that produces four cells. The difference between mitosis and meiosis is that meiosis produces four, but mitosis produces only two. And that's because meiosis actually goes through two uh, cell division cycles as opposed to meiosis, which only goes through one. Okay. Um, we'll cover that up. You can kind of still see it, I guess, uh, but it's a little bit more of a pain in the butt. Mm, maybe I'll double it up a little bit. Okay. Uh, so number one. What is meiosis? We're still a type of cell division that produces four cells. Each, so meiosis produces four cells. Each of the four cells has half, well, let's toss in some math there, or 50%, oh my gosh, for those of you who didn't know that, of the Oh, that's supposed to be an N. Number of chromosomes as the parent cell. So the parent cells have 46, a full set of chromosomes, while the daughter cells, or however you want to say it, that are produced, the four cells are going to have half or 50% of the number of chromosomes as the parent cell. Okay. So we're going to skip. So looking back, we did um, Roman numeral one, we've done A, we've done one, so I'm gonna scooch this down a little bit more, and we're gonna do Roman numeral two. Location, or as I like to say, location. All right, the location uh, for meiosis, well, mitosis, those colors look exactly the same, but they're not. Um, the location for mitosis is going to be all the body cells. So all your body cells go through um, mitosis. So it doesn't matter if it's your blood cell or skin cell or kidney cell. The location of meiosis, though, is that it occurs in the sex organs being the ovaries, oh goodness gracious, come on, focus. Oh, what in the heck? Oh, for Pete's sake. What the heck? Stupid thing. All right, one more time. Okay, so occurs in the sex organs being the ovaries in females, and then the, so occurs in the sex organs, so location, organs, uh, okay, occurs in the sex organs in uh, ovaries in females and testes in males. Okay, oh my goodness, this thing is so bleepity bleep. Uh, so occurs in the sex organs, ovaries, and testes. 
So then we're going to jump to a big number two. So, or, um, yeah, that was quick. So that's the only thing we're having for that one for two locations. I'm going to skip down, cover that back up. Um, let's do big number three. Haploid versus diploid. I said that word diploid. I feel like it's uh, it reminds me of diplodocus. It also reminds me of like an insult. Like, oh my gosh, what a diploid. Oh, you're such a diploid. I start insulting students that way. The first thing we're going to talk about is haploid. Um, so haploid, what color did I use? Oh, this one. Haploid is half. How do I remember that? Well, HA and HA, they both start with HA. Haploid cells are cells that contain only one kind of each chromosome. All right, so haploid cells are half. They contain only half the number of chromosomes, which in this case is going to be 23 total. Okay, remember, the body cells all have 46. So that is haploid is cells that contain only one kind of each chromosome. So the sister chromatids that are break apart during anaphase and they're pulled apart is what's going to be formed or used here. Let's put you down. Okay, so we have number, where are we at? A. So we're going to go to diploid. Crap, which color did I just use? Oh, that one. Okay. I don't remember which color I'm on. Which color am I on? Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm losing my mind. Every day slowly but surely. Um, so looking at this, it's going to drive me bananas, but that's okay. It's probably drive you bananas too, but oh well. Uh, diploid. Oh my gosh, you're such a diploid. Those good old diplodocuses. I feel like brontosaurus is maybe what brachiosaurus is. Tomato, tomato. Uh, diploid. For one is all body cells, so found, with the exception of sex cells, of course, found in body cells. So if you've ever scraped your knee on the pavement, you left behind some diploid cells. Oh my gosh, so silly. Uh, and then the second one is going to be, they have two of each kind of chromosome. Those of you who can do math uh, means that there's a total of 46. Okay. So diploid, I don't want to say double because 46 is the number that you were supposed to have. Haploid is half, diploid is just regular, I suppose. So diploid found in body cells, your blood is diploid, um, everything but your sex cells. So scooch that down. And we're going to go to big number four. So we've done three. Let's kick it out to big number four. We are going to do meiosis versus mitosis. So coming out of the right corner is good old meiosis starting with an ME and out of the left corner that would ever get into focus is mitosis starting off with an MI. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going to throw down with this thing. Okay, so meiosis, it'll probably get out of focus again because it doesn't like me, so that's okay. Um, meiosis versus mitosis. So, this will start off, well, I'll throw it for a loop. Mitosis, let's start off with mitosis, which y'all should have a pretty good idea about what mitosis is by now. If not, well, you should probably be looking back at some of the former videos. Uh, but mitosis, okay, so we're only talking about mitosis, it produces... Two genetically identical diploid cells. All oh, those crazy diploids. So that means that mitosis is producing genetically identical. Doesn't matter if you take a sample of your blood 10 years from now, 13 years ago. 50 years in the future from your toes, from your nose, from your ears, is all going to be genetically identical. It has all 46 chromosomes, half from your mom, half from your dad. Okay, it doesn't change. Your number of chromosomes doesn't change. You will always have that magic number of 46. Oh my gosh, so exciting. All right. um, now the second part, so we've done A, and we're going to go to, oh my gosh, what's after A? B. 
big letter B. It's probably not even online with it, but that's okay. Meiosis. Meiosis, depending on who you ask, I suppose. Um, this one is going to be a huge bit different. Okay, so we know that meiosis takes place in your sex organs or occurs in it. It's produced in it. Well, mitosis is in your body cells. So meiosis, I'm just like saying it like that. Uh, meiosis is going to produce four genetically different, which is why you and your siblings do not look exactly the same. You had the exact same full blood parents, assuming I'm talking about full blood siblings. Uh, you had the exact same parents, but you are genetically different from each other. You're not, you're not genetically identical to each other, unless, of course, you're identical twins. You are genetically different haploid cells. Oops, of course, that's F1. Haploid cells. Okay, so it produces four genetically different haploid cells. And another word for this is um, four genetically different haploid cells. And right under there, what is another word for those fun little haploid cells? The sperm and the egg. Okay. Sperm is made in the testes, while the eggs which are not actually constantly produced, are in the ovaries. And thusly, ladies and gentlemen, what I was going to say there, uh, is the meiosis nodes.